Got my boy Andrew Herbert here at Super Training Gym today. He's gonna teach you guys how to squat. It's great to have somebody come in the gym who set all-time world records, a 942 pound uh, squat in wraps, I believe, right? Yes, sir. In the 242 pound weight class, also proving to us that you don't have to be all that fat. He doesn't look that fat. You don't have to be, yeah, all oh, those are slabs of fat, yeah. I know, yeah. Or maybe muscle, I don't know. <laughs> You don't have to be fat to be super strong, and uh, he demonstrated the safety squat bar, doing uh, good mornings with it. Well, I have a question about good mornings. Um, good morning, but, Mark. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's kind of the question: is like, how did they, how did they get their names? Because they're terrible. <laughs> right. And I can't think of a worse movement to do than to do that like first thing when you get out of bed. Right. Yeah. Um, or is it a joke? Is it like a bad like maybe it should be called bad week or bad month because once you do them. You're effed up for right. a week. Yeah, terrible evening. Yeah, <laughs> it was some terrible We're gonna evening. change the name, yeah. so that's gonna be the yeah. name now. You heard it here first. Hey, let us know what you think of the video. Strength is never a weakness. Weakness is never a strength. Enjoy the footage. Check you later. What's up, everybody? Uh, Andrew Herbert, Herbie the Lovebug here. Uh, world record powerlifter, animal athlete. I'm gonna talk about some uh, squat accessory movements. One of the um, movements I really like as a squat accessory, but it also is good for the deadlift, is uh, safety bar good mornings. Um, you know, the good morning, and the good morning can be done with a barbell, uh, anything that's on your back, and it's basically, a, it's a hip hinge movement where you're, you know, the weight is on your back and you're hip hinging, slight knee bend, and really all the tension's going into your hamstrings, your glutes, and your spinal erectors, and then you're coming back up. I don't know why they call it a good morning. And you can do it any time of the day, not just in the morning. But um, so the nice thing about the safety squat bar though, is that one, you can go hands-free and two, it pushes the weight forward, basically more up under your traps, which basically the higher up the weight is, the more, if you think of a lever, it's pushing more on, putting more stress on your, on your lower back. And so it's harder. So you can do more with less weight essentially. And also, if people have you know, elbow or shoulder issues, this bar is great for that, for all kinds of movements, not just good mornings. But so, you know, she so set up, and obviously right now it's, it's, it's empty, but, you know, see, I can, I, don't, I can even just go hands-free. That's one of the great things about this, and if you need to balance, you can hold on to things. And so basically, when I set up for the good morning, yeah, I'll put my stance kind of, like my squat stance, maybe a little bit more narrow, and you can tailor that too, because a lot of people use this for their deadlift where you'll want to maybe emulate your deadlift stance or if they have a wide squat stance and they want to do it for that they can use that stance so it's pretty versatile but i'll go like this similar to my squat stance my knees are not locked out it's a slight bend and then i'm just leaning forward and as i'm leaning forward i'm thinking about sitting back and i just keep going and like like i said i can go hands free and you start to feel a stretch in your in your hamstrings as you go down, basically go until you feel that stretch and you come up driving your glutes forward. And what's great about this is it teaches you to keep a really tight spine, basically your lumbar, your thoracic, really tight under load and in a compromised position. So anyone who's squatted enough knows that sometimes when you fail, you pitch forward. And so while the amount of weight you use on this is not going to be as heavy as a maximal squat, you're still strengthening all those muscles along your spine uh, uh, to help you out when you do say get compromised a little bit, you know? And so again, I get set, brace, and I always focus on keeping a neutral spine. In other words, I'm not hyper, ex hyper extending or hyper flexing, Just keeping it in a straight line, butt back, butt back. And you know, how far you go is gonna be partially dependent on your flexibility. Like some people can go like super low, some people not so much. Basically, as long as you can keep your spine in neutral, the better. And as you can see, I'm keeping that slight, slight bend in my knee. You know, I'm not totally locked out. I'm not squatting, just a slight bend. And then come forward there. And I just down there. I like to do this for more reps as opposed to weight. I'm talking about like the six to eight rep range. Instead of going like you know, heavy, not like triples or anything like that, I just feel it's better that way. One thing about good mornings for me, 
is I feel them in my hamstrings like the next day or two days later as far as soreness more than anything else, more than hamstring curls, more than RDLs even. And that's one of the strange things because literally the movement is just like an RDL. It's just the weight instead of being in your hands is on your back. But I've always just felt it better. And it's nice too, because you're still training all the posterior chain muscles that we use in a deadlift, but you're not worrying about grip. And uh, so it's a little less stressful overall on your system. So, you know, think about it this way. If, if I was deadlifting, I'd be in this exact same position. But it takes the stress off of this and it hel helps you focus more on those posterior chain muscles. As far as spinal movement, the lumbar you want to always keep as neutral as possible and as tight as possible. You want that to be a stabilizing, stabilized area. The thoracic spine, in other words, the mid back, up until you hit the cervical spine, which is in the neck, that it's okay to have a little flexion there. Like if anyone's watched uh, Konstantin Konstantinov deadlift, RIP KK, um, he has that a little bit of thoracic bend. Some of the great deadlifters do flex their thoracic spine a little bit, and that's okay. So it's okay to incorporate that also in your good mornings. But the lower back, you wanna just, don't let that move. You know, keep that neutral, that's where you can get hurt more. So, got my stance tight, and I'll kind of lock my lats in too. That's just kind of a good cue. Butt back, butt back, butt back. Up. So that's, That is the safety bar. Good morning. Give it a shot.